Everyone is looking for these types of pennies. We're gonna show you what you can look for on your coins from the bank or in your pocket change or even in a coin collection that you may have inherited that can give your pennies some value. All right, starting off first with a beat up wheat penny here from 1944. Now, as we flip the coin over to the reverse, you can kind of see that it looks like it's damaged, but that isn't actually damaged. That is a mint error, which is considered a lamination error. Now, you can look for these on all kinds of different coins. You know, had this coin been in much better condition, of course, it could have sold for a lot more money, but in this condition, the coin still sold for $10. I mean, not too bad for a penny this beat up. Now, let's move on to a very, very famous coin. This is a 1955 wheat penny that is a double die. One of the most famous double die pennies out there. This coin does look like it's been cleaned. Personally, I would not purchase this coin as is. I would only purchase a graded example of this coin um, because there are a lot of fakes of the 1955 double die out there. But in this case, this penny did sell on eBay as is for over 3000 dollars I mean, that is just insane, to be honest. That, that's insane. So this coin can sell for tens of thousands of dollars uh, in certain conditions. Um, it just really depends on the grade, of course. Now here is a 1956 penny. Again, this is probably what a lot of our wheat pennies look like. They're brown, they're not in very good condition. Uh, you know, it's not all worn down or anything, but it's a 1956 penny, common to have it in this condition. Now what you wanna look for is on the mint mark by the date. Right underneath the date, 1956, that D mint mark there, you can see that it has been repunched. So what that is called is an RPM, which stands for repunched mint mark. Now you can look for this on numerous different coins, not just pennies, uh, and all kinds of different dated coins as well. This coin did sell for around $20 as is on eBay. Now this next coin, I actually get a lot of questions about people finding these. You can see that the date is filled there with a little piece of metal. That is what is known as a die chip. Honestly, these are very common. So, you know, should you save these or keep these? It's really up to you. Some people do buy them, but not for very much money. Again, this penny is not in very good condition, uh, but the coin still sold for three bucks on eBay. So not too bad for, you know, a beat up wheat penny with uh, just a little die chip there. Now here is a coin that you definitely want to look out for. This is the 1971 penny. Now this has a doubled die obverse. So there's doubling taking place on the front of the coin, the obverse of the coin. And you wanna look for that on the lettering, most noticeably there, you can really see it there on Liberty. So that is something you wanna look for on your pennies. You know, there's all kinds of different double dies that take place on different dated pennies in different uh, dimes, nickels, quarters, half dollars, and so on and that's what we have here on the channel you guys can look back at all those videos that we've done on you know the 2001 penny or the 2023 penny or the 2009 penny we have all those videos available for you guys absolutely free here on the channel so feel free to check those out this coin ended up selling for 50 bucks as is ungraded. Not too bad for a 1971 penny. Now here's a 1974 penny. This is something you always want to look for as well. We will look at a couple different examples of these, I believe. Uh, this is a die break, which also is referred to as a cud. You can look for these on all kinds of different coins, not just pennies. You'll see that extra metal there on the rim of the coin. It is pretty blurry there, uh, but that's what you want to look for. Now, some of these can be much larger, much smaller. This one, eh, it's a decent size. It's going over the word trust. The penny sold for $21 at auction. You know, if this was a very large die break or cud where it's taken up, you know, a quarter of the coin or half of the coin, then you're talking a lot more money. They, those start selling for, you know, hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars in some cases. Now, this next penny is graded and authenticated by PCGS. The coin sold for over five hundred dollars at auction and it is the 1983 penny so what would make a 1983 penny sell for over five hundred dollars well if you flip the coin over to the reverse we zoom in down there most noticeably on one cent you want to look for doubling so on every 1983 penny you have flipped the coin over to the reverse to the back of the penny and look for that doubling on all of the lettering on the back of the coin 
So that will give your coin a lot of value. Graded at a 66 red by PCGS, the penny sold for $510. Can't beat that for a 1983 penny. Something that you always want to look for on pennies from the bank right there. 1983 double die. Now here is another 1983 penny. Looks very normal on the reverse, but here on the obverse of the coin, you can kind of see something doesn't look right. And that is because the coin was struck through a capped die. Now this coin only sold for $17, but had the coin been graded or in a little bit better condition, of course, you know those prices can fluctuate. So it really depends on the date uh, that the error is taking place on, the type of error, the way it looks, how desirable it is, the condition or the grade, you know, all those things can affect a coin's value. So 17 bucks, not too bad for a, you know, a loose penny like that. All right, guys, if you want a coin mat, they are available right now on couchcollectibles.com. We have the nickel mat, penny mat, quarter mat, and half dollar coin mat. A lot of dates updated and added, RPMs, all the way up until 2020. 23 here on the penny mats super soft for your coins nice and rubber light easy to you know fold up carry wherever you want and then bam you want to go through your coins you get you a roll of coins break it out on there save the ones you want key dates or any errors that you find or any silver you can actually get these right now on couchcollectibles.com hit the link in the comments below if you guys want to pick up all four you can get all four for a deal that are a lot cheaper than buying them individually so feel free to pick one up in the comments below couchcollectibles.com. Now here is a 1988 penny that was struck off center in very good condition. Um, you know, not uh, not too bad for a 1988 penny uh, that was struck off center. This coin ended up selling for $28 at auction. You know, off centers can vary in value as well, depending on the date of the coin, how off center is the coin struck, things like that. And if the coin is graded, this coin is not graded, it's sold as is. You know, had it been graded, could have sold for a little more money. So this 1997 penny looks pretty normal. If you're not really paying attention, you know, you can come across these coins in your pocket change every single day or from the bank, coin rolls from the bank. Very common penny, 1997. However, the coin did sell for $16 because it does have that small little die break, that cud that we talked about on the other coin. This one, much smaller, but still a $16 penny there, not too bad. Now here is a 1999 penny. Again, this one has not been graded by a coin grading company either, but the coin still sells sold for $16. Now, had this coin been graded, of course, it would have sold for more money. It's a nice little broad strike error. You can see that it looks stretched out around the rim of the coin as a result of that mint error. So I'm actually pretty surprised that this only sold for 16 bucks. I think it's a pretty good pickup for that price. Now, here is a graded penny, super rare penny here. This coin sold for $475 at auction. The penny is from 1999. Now, Oh, we're really getting into an awesome error, one of my favorite types of mint errors that you know you could look for that is very obvious and uh, uh, you know very noticeable to the naked eye. You really wouldn't need a coin microscope to see something like this. You'll see that the coin has been double struck and flipped over. So you'll see that reverse design here with the obverse design of Lincoln there, and then the Lincoln sent obverse design with the reverse design with the memorial building there. So really cool mint error graded by PCGS, $475 coin there. Moving on to another broad strike, this time taking place on a Lincoln penny from the year 2000. This coin ended up selling for $14 at auction. So again, always something to look for. Now here is that double strike, very, very similar double strike that is flipped over. And uh, the difference here between this one and that last double strike that we looked at is the condition and the coin has not been graded or authenticated. But I can tell you this is a genuine double strike here. And this penny ended up selling for $255 ungraded. So personally, if you find one of these, an error like this, I would 100% get the coin graded. You're going to get more money out of the coin that way. So definitely do not pass up something like that. Here is a 2019 Lincoln penny, of course, with the shield sent reverse. This coin was struck a little off center there. Something you can look for on modern coins as well. This penny sold for $10 at auction. Not too bad. Now we've done a whole video on the 2023 penny. There's a lot of things to look for like the extra V and things like that. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, feel free to go back and watch my 2023 penny videos because there are some things that can make those pennies sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Now this case, this penny sold for 10 bucks, 
price because it has a die clash. So you'll see the shield scent reverse here. You'll see the lines vertically going up and down on the shield. Well, you can see those lines here on the obverse of the coin as we zoom in there by Lincoln. You also see the lettering from the reverse of the coin as well on the shield coming through here on the obverse of the Lincoln penny. So 10 bucks for that penny, not super valuable, but I think that is uh, uh, an amazing find on a very uh, new coin. It's in, you know, 2023 when we're making this video. So uh, it's the newest uh, penny out there. All right, let's move on. Speaking of the 2023 extra V penny, here's one that sold for $173. The coin is graded by NGC at a mint state 66 red. So of course, more people are finding these extra Vs on the 2023 pennies. Uh, so the prices will start to come down the more that are found. And it really depends on the grade. You know, if there's a lot being graded at a 66 and there's only, you you know, one or two graded at a 67 or a 68. Of course, the values of those will skyrocket, but the 66 grades will go a little bit down if more become available on the market. So it's really supply and demand uh, for those as well. That's why everyone goes out and gets coin rolls at the beginning of the year, searching for errors that have not been discovered. And we'll continue to do that when they release coins from the bank in 2024 and hopefully find something valuable. So $173 for that penny. Now we looked at die breaks, which again are referred to as cuds. Here's a good example of what I was talking about earlier in this video. Here's a die break that's taking up nearly half of the Lincoln penny. And that is going to make the penny extremely desirable by collectors. Now this coin is not graded and the penny still sold for $617 at auction all because of that die break. So keep that in mind, guys. This can give your pennies a lot, a lot of value. 617 bucks for one penny. I'll take it any day of the week. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.